Hey guys, welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today's video is sponsored by Joy City for their new game, The War of Genesis Battle of Antaria. Now, I have made a couple videos for the game in the past, as well as put a couple clips on some other videos that you guys may have seen. And I have actually had a lot of you guys asking me when the game is going to be officially released. Well, that day has finally come. So if you guys are interested in it and want to play along with me in today's video, as always, for your convenience, I will leave a link in the description below. Make sure you guys click on that link. It'll take you straight to where you need to go to download the game. It's available for free for Android and iOS devices. So for today's video, I'm actually going to jump into the game a little bit more, showcase you guys some more gameplay and other things that I think are personally interesting about the game as well, okay? But to start things off, guys, let's go ahead and summon First and foremost, so let me go ahead and click on Summon Hero. I have 150 Summon Stones to use, and I'm excited. So I did get a little pop-up earlier while I was playing that said Van Dyke is an important unit to have, so I think we might have to go for those today. And it might help you guys out in going for Van Dyke as well because one thing that I did notice I was lacking in my team is a nice support or healer unit, which is exactly what Van Dyke does. And we'll pull up his skills here in just a second, but for those of you that might be completely in the dark and not really sure what the heck I'm talking about, the game is basically a hero collector game that you guys can summon in different heroes that all do different types of skills, different abilities, and you gear them with certain sets that give you different bonuses in order to fight them against other players or PvE content through a story mode. Let's go ahead and pull up his profile. Let's go to his basic info and see what he's all about. So this is like his base stats here. He's got 69 attack that we always like to see. His hero settings are as such. Ha ha ha. Looks like this old man is needed. Now here's his skills, okay? So his first skill right here, level one, Gravel of Church. This is why we kind of want to summon for him. Damages an enemy, gives HP regeneration buff to the lowest HP ally for one turn. The second skill though, level one, Holy Prayer, heals an ally with HP percent less than the caster's HP, up to the caster's HP. Resets skill cool time if healed, gives all buffs on Van Dyke to the healed ally. That sounds super overpowered if you ask me. And last but not least, his third skill, it's gonna play us a little animation here, we can see it. He's like, uh-uh. Yeah, that one. That's the one I like to see. Damages an enemy, silences the enemy for one turn, seals the enemy for one turn, and steals all buffs from the enemy. So, imagine this, stealing all the buffs with skill three, and then going into skill two, giving all of those buffs to that ally that you're healing as well. So this, again, like I said, is something that I've been lacking in my team, so I think this is what I really want to go for. No, I take that back. I want to go for a five star, because I feel like I have extremely good luck, but I feel like I should go for Van Dyke. So this is what I'm going to do. Now, you guys can see that there's a ton of different heroes that you guys can summon with the four star summons alone. You also have your five star heroes, which we can take a look at as well. All of them are super cool looking. Some of them are dark, some of them are water elements, fire elements, and so on and so forth as well. And you can also do normal summons. We do have one normal summon, so I might as well do that to start us off. And that you can get a one star to five star hero from, and you receive a free summon ticket when you level up to Admiral level 30. Let's go ahead, we're gonna pull up our special summons. Again, click on Van Dyke. We're gonna summon him for a, a 15 summon stone. So, Again, it's going to show us this box. This is like the summoning feature of the game. It gives us like this checkerboard and we can click on any board on the checker or any box on the checkerboard and hopefully summon him. We have a 1% chance to obtain him. It's pretty low. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have 10 summons. So really, if we had a temp, we have a 1 in 10 chance really to get him is, is what it comes down to. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the corner here and see what happens. Oh, we can also chain some. Let's start off with one summon and then we'll chain summon so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. So we got a Fruit of Wisdom, which is nice. It's kind of like um, a skill up for you guys as well, which is super important. So it helps you skill up your skills and, and increase their levels. We'll summon this corner and we got a 30 minute speed up. So we're gonna go ahead and receive that. Let's go ahead and finish off the corners and then we'll check out that chain summon idea. 
All right, so we got 100 stamina times three, and then over here we have a level token. So basically you just feed it to a, a unit or a hero and they instantly level up. All right, let's go ahead now and put it into the middle square. And then we're going to hit chain summon to see what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and click on yes and let it just summon away. Did we get him? We got him. We definitely got him! Oh, 1% chance we got him! That's it, we're done! We got him on the last one! Look it, we don't have any summon stones left, and we got him on the very last one! That's insane! Oh my gosh! Okay. I actually didn't think we were gonna get him. That was that was insane. That was insane. Okay, so what a way to start off the video. Let's go ahead now and see if we can do the normal summon. Again, there's no we don't really need to do that because we got the unit that we already wanted. So let's go ahead and just summon this hero. As you guys can see, I've kind of just been summoning around the board for this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this spot right here. That looks good to me. Go go ahead and click oh, we got a slime. Yeah, it's love it's a one star. Slime. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at our heroes because I just got this brand new hero that I can use now. So we have a couple different things that we could do for him. And we could say, let's just go ahead and level him up. I'm gonna go ahead and level him up all the way to the max level that I can probably go. So he's like a healer and a support unit. It's gonna give me the best possible option for him, which is the HP boost plus 15%. And I have a couple pieces of equipment. I'm not really super happy with the ones that I have. I would really rather him have HP percent like these boots do. But let me see what this has. Skill accuracy plus 8.1%. That's not awful. I do have one skill that he's stealing buffs from. So that could help him out on that one. So let's go ahead and just equip this one. But let me actually go ahead and craft some better gear okay we can go ahead and upgrade a couple pieces as well might as well so this is the hp percent one let's go ahead and chain upgrade it to plus three and that's going to give us this extra hp percent as you can see so 8.5 percent it doesn't go up as much as you would hope it would but the higher star grade the equipment is the more percentage you're going to get from those upgrades as well. All right guys, so that's basically summoning a hero, gearing him up, upgrading his equipment and stuff like that. The other thing I want to show you guys is the laboratory. And this is also pretty unique as well to the game, but let's just take the hero gear for example, since we've already kind of talked about that in today's video. But it gives you this whole ability or skill tree or whatever you guys really want to call it it gives you all these different bonus effects that you guys can customize to how you want to play the game so if you're super offensive you can put all of your stats into basically increasing your attack set effect like here it gives you a plus five percent attack on your attack set the list goes on and on like you guys can see how far down this goes and I've only basically just scratched the surface of the hero gear But you could also do that same thing with your leadership your battle your resources um, Here's your airship gear specifically. But let's go ahead now. We'll go to the world area So once you get into this map Basically what I've been doing is going through my story mode or my quest mode I've been focusing on my main missions and also trying to do my daily missions as they come along as well And as you can see I do a pretty good job at keeping that cleaned up But as far as the main missions are concerned those are the ones you want to focus on and So like this one upgrade Machina's to level 6 we can actually go back to the hangar real quick and Upgrade my Asura so I might as well do that real quick there and then we'll go back to the world map and let's see what other things we have to do. So attacking level 15 or above dark armor. Sure, we could do that one. So this guy is right here. This is the level 15 dark armor. We're gonna go ahead and click on attack. And as you can see, I have my level six fire element Asura equipped. And then I'm also gonna use my uh, Van Dyke, of course. All right, so then once I have my team set, and again, each hero has their own unique abilities, it's gonna give me a boost in battle if I have some ones that work well together. So I have a damage dealer in this guy here. I have a healer here. I have a tank here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on attack and show you guys what happens. So 
they come straight from our airship and they take this machina, again, the Asura that we were talking about earlier, they take that over into the dark armor and they're gonna go basically kill him and it doesn't take very long it takes some 30 seconds to get there all right so they're getting to the dark armor now and then they're gonna start fighting him here once they get there pretty easy we took it down not too bad at all we're gonna receive those rewards and then as soon as they get back i saw this guy earlier this is janice this is a machina that we're actually gonna go attack because i feel like i just want to do it it's not on my quest list at all it's not on my main missions or anything like that it's just something that i want to do because i think it's going to be i think it's going to be good content all right so once we get to him then we click on battle and it's going to bring us into a like third person battle now if you thought the other one against the dark arm was fun <laughs> this is going to be the real battles that you guys want to pay attention to okay so we have our five units we have our asura here that we can use at any time that we want and I'm going to save him until the very end when we're actually fighting Janice. Right now we're just fighting a couple trash waves. So let's just go ahead and do that. So, But let's just go ahead and attack the one that we're good against. We're good against the slime, but let's go ahead and attack her. And let's go ahead and actually go against the water guy here. So that way he doesn't attack our fire units and and take them out we're gonna auto out the rest of this wave so that way you guys can see that you don't have to actually do everything it does have an auto feature and i can actually speed it up two times the normal rate um, which is what i typically would recommend playing on if you are maybe playing this at work or playing it while you're watching tv with your significant other whatever it might be it's typically what i end up doing <laughs> personally I'm hoping that he doesn't die, but we may not be so lucky. Okay, we were lucky enough where he's not going to die. He's not doing so hot right now either. Takes defensive stance until next turn. Increase caster's defense by 30%. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we are very close to death, to be completely honest with you. We might need to call in our Machina now, but I really don't want to. We might just have to take a loss for him. It didn't get around to my Van Dyke in order to heal him. Hopefully we can finish him off before he gets another turn, which I think we should be perfectly fine with doing. You guys can see the turns over here and hopefully use that to your advantage where you don't have to like freak out. Or you can freak out if you see that the unit's going to be moving before your healer moves. Then you'll be like, okay, I need to do something <laughs> about this. Let's go ahead and queue up our Osra. And we'll actually use our Osra right now. Let's go ahead and just use him now. Awesome animation for the Astra. He didn't do as much damage as I was hoping for. There's nothing we can do at this point. Really, there's not. I'll just go ahead and continue autoing it out until we officially die. That way you guys can see how, how to lose. But you can see how having a good team comp really goes a long way. Level up your gear. Create a good team comp. And you'll probably do better than me at this game. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys like this game, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Again, don't forget to download the game using the link in the description. Again, it's available for free for your Android and iOS devices. So do it. Why not? As a stock trading system, that's super cool, guys. You'll also make me really happy if you use the link. So make sure you guys do that. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.